Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This video is a comment, a comment video to your comments. So I do read the comments. I know there's tons and tons of comments and I try my best to read them all if I can. I do my best. I ignore the ones that are negative and I focus on the ones that are more positive and that add value to the conversation. So today I want to talk specifically about a few of the things, little, um, little details and things about the videos themselves as I'm recording that you may or may not have, um, that may or may not be distracting to you, let's say that. There's some things that, you know, you maybe love my messages or love the videos, but there are some things that are just kind of annoying to you. And hey, that's totally fine. Totally get that. And so I want to talk about some of that stuff. All right, so um, clearing my throat or I'm coughing or sneezing when I have the microphone on. Now I know that could be so annoying and yet there's really nothing I can do about it because sometimes I'm in the very middle of a channel and I have to cough or I have to clear my throat or I sneeze. I'm not going to stop the channel and start it over or something that I've had really great conversation or content about and just scrap it because I sneeze. I'm also not gonna go back and try to edit that out. I, I don't really like to do that kind of thing. So I wanna keep the channel as pure as possible and I'm a human being so I have stuff. Like I clear my throat, it happens. And so I'm sorry if that's annoying to you and I don't mean to be disrespectful by not apologizing for that. I try to just keep going if I can. I just swallowed, you might have heard it. But it's better to use a microphone than to just use the phone on, or the uh, microphone on the camera that I'm using or the, or the iPhone that I'm using because the quality is better with uh, a microphone. So I've tried it mul multiple ways and this is the best way. So there you go. So hearing everything on the microphone. Sorry if it's annoying, it's just the way it is. Um, the other thing that I'm sure probably bugs you a little bit is or maybe you find it humorous i hope you just find it kind of funny is my accents yeah when i channel it is really tough to do accents i haven't been to like a dialect coach or a speech coach or an acting coach or anything like that so i have no idea how to properly do an accent so whether it's from the uk or from australia or down south i'm a midwesterner or anywhere, you know, French, whatever it might be. I am in a, when I'm in a channeling state, I might hear it like that. I'll hear their accent, but I can't bring it through always properly. And sometimes it gets mixed up. Like it doesn't sound right. It sounds like sometimes there's an accent, sometimes there's not. And usually um, that just depends on how my energy is matching to the channel. So when I'm in a channeling situation my energy I just all I do is I try to be as pure of a channel as I can and connect with the energy and I reflect translate the energy out and when it comes out of me sometimes it can come out with an accent and sometimes it doesn't and it's not consistent there's no consistency to that sometimes I'll talk to someone that's clearly a Brit and I'm not using an accent it's just I'm trying more to be aware of the fact that my purpose is to channel through the energy and the content, not the manner in which or the way in which I'm sharing it. And that has been a tricky part for me because I really want quality. I wanna be as authentic as possible and to be able to do accents would be great, but that's just not in my repertoire of skill sets as a person. And because of that then, to answer some of your questions, you've made some comments about, well, can you speak another language when you're channeling or can you sing when you're channeling a famous singer? The answer to that is no, because you can only do, they can only use what I have uh, capacity for in my intellect. Thus far in my spiritual channeling experience, that is where it's been. That is what my experience has been. That is what my understanding is up to this point that I cannot do that. That doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. Or it's not something that other people do. I really don't pay attention to what other people do. 
I focus on me doing the best that I can do to bring forward and translate the energy. And so how the energy comes forward is how it comes forward. And it's not consistent. I might channel the same person and they might have this uh, they may have a great accent in one of the channels and you might watch one three months later and there's no accent. I have kind of given myself the leeway to not work so hard to try to get the accent and do it word for word, but more so to focus on the energy of the message because I want you to feel it. I want you to feel the spirit because that's what we usually do. That's how you and I, like everyday people, that's how you connect. and. That's the most important thing for me is to share the message, um, not the way I share it or how accurate the accent is. Um, I actually had a particular comment that um, someone commented that I, I'm a white person trying to be a black person and trying to talk in um, kind of a slang way or whatever. Um, no. Uh, when I channel someone who might have a different dialect or slang or uh, accent or tone to their voice, I do the best I can. And so I'm not trying to be anybody. I'm just sharing the message and trying to be the best channel, the best vessel I can be. So there you go. I, I'm, I have enough work trying to be myself, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there you go. So I yeah, just got to put up with the crappy accents, people. That's just the way it is. All right, so um, there's another question. Let me see. Um, somebody asked about, oh, somebody asked about, asked about um, one particular video, and I'd love to ch chat about this, where I, it was one of the Freddie Mercury channels, which I loved, by the way. He's such a joy to channel. His energy is so sweet and so sincere. Love to channel him. Um, and one of the channels, I, I think it was the very first one, I'm trying to remember which one it was. I didn't write it down which one, but I wrote down the question was, there was a comment about, well, how can you say you don't know that he died of AIDS when you say clearly that he died of AIDS? And then when you're, in the ch you're doing the channel, then you say, well, I don't know what he died of well, that's not true, like you do know, how can you say that? And my response to that is, and I think it's really important to address this, is that when I'm in a channel and I'm doing a channel, I switch into a different level of my energy. And so trying to recall everything with my human mind and my intellect does not work. It does not work. I can't be in two places at once. I don't, that's not how it works for me. I can't recall stuff. So for example, if you and I have a session, and remember I have like many, 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 many sessions and I do a lot of channeling, and we talk one month and then, then like a month later we talk again, and when I connect in, it's not always the same. I can't remember what we talked about. I have no idea what we talked about because my mind cannot keep all of these files that are really no mean and no matter for me. Like it's not my purpose to hold those files. It's not my part of my purpose to um, take up all that capacity to be able to recall everything I've ever heard about a particular person, for example. I just don't, the memory and the recall does not work well for me. And if you don't believe that, that's, that's okay. That's your belief system, but that's just how it works for me. That's the truth. I, I don't have great recall when I'm doing channeling. So I may say like, well, I don't know how you died, blah, blah, blah. And then the next minute I'm like, well, wait, you died. I feel like you died of AIDS. I know, okay, I know you died of AIDS. When really, when I'm not in a channel, I'm like, oh yeah, I know how Freddie Mercury died. He died of AIDS. Well, he technically didn't die of AIDS. He probably died of the energy of the pneumonia that I felt in his body in the upper part of his chest where he couldn't breathe. He probably died of not being able to breathe, pneumonia or heart failure, that kind of a thing. But eh, potato, potato, semantics, right? But I did want to address that because I think that's, I do think that's a legitimate question or a comment. Well, you say you don't know, but then you say you know. So which is it? Um, it's both. Depends on who's driving my bus. If my mind is in charge and it's Bridget responding and talking to you about things, then yeah, I can recall stuff. But if I'm in the soul space and channeling, I don't, my mind, sometimes I can recall things, but it takes a lot of effort to go back and try to remember 
go back into the memory part of my brain, access the ego mind, because why would I want to access the ego mind in a channel? Why? No. So that brings up another really good comment that um, I've, I've seen a few times is about, well, why doesn't she just Google? Why doesn't she, she should know more about these people she's channeling. Why doesn't she share more details? Why aren't you more specific? And I think that's a legitimate question. And the, my response to that is there are many YouTube channels and great a- access points for you on Google. You can Google that. If you wanna know details, if you wanna know specifics about how someone died or when they died or what their family was like, you can Google that. There's a lot of of resources on the internet that you can find yourself. That's not the purpose of my channel. I'm not here as an investigative reporter or as a writer or as a journalist. I'm not here to, to share a litany of details about a person's life that I don't, quite frankly, I'm not interested in. I'm interested in the afterlife. I'm interested in the messages that they learn or that they share from reflecting upon their human life. I'm interested in the energy. I want to convey the energy because I want you to feel it. I want you to recognize that you can connect with energy, with spirit, because you are spirit, and by bringing forward experiences and interesting conversations and dialogue with afterlife celebrities, that brings so much value. My offering, my channel is not about the details about somebody's death or investigating somebody's suspicious death or or getting into the drama of any of those things. That's just not, there are plenty of YouTube channels you can watch for those kinds of things. And that's just not mine. And and that's okay, you know, that's just the way it is. But I think that's a legitimate question. Um, I used to think, you guys, I used to think that I had to know the details, like I had to get the details, not know it before I came into a channel, but that I had to like prove that I'm connecting with that particular person. And then I started to realize, why am I spending so much energy trying to tell people what they already know and they can easily find online? That's ridiculous. That is not the kind of psychic or medium I am and that's not the purpose of my work. If you want that, go find somebody else. My purpose isn't to convince you, to persuade you, to change your mind and your belief system because you already got that. That's your stuff. That's your business. You deal with that. I'm not dealing with your belief systems. You take care of that. My job is to bring forward experiences for you so that you can feel energy, so that you can feel spirit, so that you can know that you can connect and have access to your own spirit, your own guidance, and celebrities in the afterlife and your grandpa that died in the afterlife and angels and guides and spiritual helpers like you can do that and by giving you these experiences and and you have these feelings and you're like wow i felt that that to me is the point of all of this like that's the point that's the kind of work i want to do is i want to give you experiences and i want to have thought-provoking conversations with afterlife celebrities. I don't, I want to learn from them. I want to learn about life from the afterlife. And so that's what Above Life Channel is about. So these have been great comments and great questions that have been asked or posted on the comment feeds of many of the videos here at Above Life Channel. And I do try to read them. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I hope you found this video interesting. I'd like to do some more comment and reply videos as well in the future. So watch for that. I think it just increases the opportunity for us to get to know each other better and for you to understand what it is that it, that Above Life Channel is about so that you can really make the most of your time and your experience when you're watching the videos and the channels. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, what do I always say at the end of my videos? This. This is your life. I'm not here to prove anything to you, to persuade you, to believe. I ain't got time for that. There's plenty of evangelicals that can do that for you online (laughs) if you want. (laughs) I'm not here to change any skeptics or make believers. I'm not. (laughs) I am here because this is your life. And I hope that through the inspiring of your spirit and the filling you up with hope that we do every week here at Above Life Channel, that you'll believe that, that this is your life. And it's your job to live it. Just, just live it. Thanks for watching.